The Mahindra Scorpio has become India's favorite SUV with a legacy that's over a decade old now. While the core reasons to buy this rugged machine have remained the same over the years, the Scorpio has evolved and it's got better styling, more equipment and more power as well. So, chances are you are tempted to buy the Scorpio but aren't quite sure yet. Well, we're here to get you the complete picture, so sit back and relax while we help you pick the right car right now. Scorpio is a decent city car for something of its size, but importantly, it's ready for the rough stuff. This Mahindra continues to be a favorite in semi-urban and rural India because when the roads get bad or the roads stop existing altogether, the Scorpio thrives. Whether it's the dirt tracks of Lonar or the tough plains of Ladakh, the Scorpio is ready for it all. Don't ask us, just talk to any owner and check out user reviews on Kardeko.com. If you own a Scorpio, why not post your ownership review and help your car deco community? Check out the link in the description. The MHawk 2.2 liter diesel engine is a great all-rounder and is a major reason to buy the Scorpio. It's happy to chug along at highway speeds all day long while offering serious low rev torque. Not only is this good for off-roading scenarios, it also makes the Scorpio a great city slicker. 20 km per hour in third gear, no problem. It will even accelerate cleanly when you floor it at that speed. Of course, this also means that the Scorpio does very well when it has to operate with a full passenger and luggage load. The Scorpio is a big SUV. The tall boy design, aggressively styled front end and the boxy profile give it an imposing aura. It's no wonder then it's a favorite for police officers, politicians and let's face it, even some bad guys. With prices starting at Rs 10 lakh and going up to just over 16 lakh, the Scorpio is a 7, well 5 plus 2 or 3 seater that costs the same as 5 seaters such as the Renault Duster, the Renault Capture and the Hyundai Creta. For buyers who need a tough people mover, the Scorpio remains the go-to choice. Get the on-road price of the Scorpio or any other car for that matter on Cardeco.com. Just hit that link in the description. Just because it's rugged doesn't mean it is devoid of modernities. The Scorpio comes equipped with projector headlamps, LED pilot lights and tail lights, automatic climate control, a height adjustable driver's seat, cruise control, four leather upholstery and a touchscreen with navigation that includes regional languages like Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, Tamil and more. Yes, the number of SUVs in the market is swelling but for the most part these are regular cars with the look of an SUV and some beefed up ground clearance. The Scorpio walks the talk and comes with a proper shift on the fly four-wheel drive system while operating with rear-wheel drive under regular conditions. Seen all that's good about the Scorpio? Well, there is a lot to like but there are things to dislike as well. If you haven't liked this video, leave a dislike but if you liked it, share some love our way by hitting that thumbs up. Hope you've subscribed and hit the bell icon so we can deliver our videos to you fresh out of the oven every single time. The Scorpio is a heavy ladder frame SUV and it behaves like one too. While the ride quality isn't too bad up front, the rear row ride quality is quite bouncy. The ride does improve with more weight on board but it is still far from plush. Because of the body type, there's also a fair amount of body roll and these factors can make long distance travel in the Scorpio a little uneasy in the rear benches. We'd also like to point out that the steering is a bit heavy for city usage and seriously needs some more feedback. Mahindra has made the Scorpio more modern and easier to live with 
but there are some ergonomic oversights along the way. The storage slots in the door pads, for example, are almost impossible to access when the door is shut. It's a similar issue with the driver's seat height adjustment lever. Even the touchscreen, while nice to use, is hard to operate on the move as it's placed quite low in line with the driver's knee and doesn't even tilt upwards for better visibility. By no means is the Scorpio a cheap or an entry-level car, but inside the part quality and fit and finish prove to be quite average. There are a few rough edges around the cabin, the plastic quality is tough but not premium, and even the newly introduced 4 leather upholstery seen in the top variants doesn't feel particularly upmarket. The range stopping variant is of course the best equipped. But that may not be the version that everyone wants. After all, there's a healthy rupees 5 lakh between the base spec Scorpio and the top end variant. This is why we wish Mahindra offered 4x4 on the lower variants as well, perhaps the S7. The 4x4 variants command a premium of rupees 1 lakh, so keeping it exclusive to the top spec isn't the best idea in our books. The XUV500 is a more polished SUV than the Scorpio and feels far more premium. It also rides and handles better and the prices of the Scorpio variants take it dangerously close to the XUV. The Scorpio 4x2 S11, for example, costs the same as an XUV500 W6 automatic, a variant of the XUV that, aside from the auto box, also has a touchscreen with Android Auto, projector headlights, the micro-hybrid tech, automatic AC and more. If you just need an urban 7-seater, you're probably better off picking the Honda BRV. and if you only want a people mover, even a Maruti Suzuki Ertiga will do just fine. But if you need a proper SUV that can move people in punishing conditions and give you some real go-anywhere capabilities at the same time, the Scorpio still makes a good case to consider. Check out our road test review of the Scorpio by hitting the link in the description to see how the updated Scorpio fares in the real world. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.